Hello from Suffolk, England, where it's a cloudy start, set to continue for much of the day, but with some sunny intervals in the early evening. Thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Second Epistle to Timothy, Chapter 2, Verse 3 It's Wednesday, the 13th of May, in the year of our Lord 2020, and it's time to sit back and enjoy five minutes of civilised calm. This is Mark's Almanac, recorded in the peace of the English countryside. I say to the House, as I said to ministers who have joined this government, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many months of struggle and suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by land, sea and air, war with all our might and with all the strength God has given us, and to wage war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalogue of human crime. That is our policy. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word. It is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terrors. Victory however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. That's from Winston Churchill's first speech to the House of Commons as Prime Minister, given on this day in 1940, three days after he took office. On this day in 1842, Arthur Sullivan was born in London. A brilliant and prolific composer, he is best known for the 14 comic operas he wrote with W.S. Gilbert, including The Pirates of Penzance and H.M.S. Pinafore. His hymns include the music for Onward Christian Soldiers. Also on this day in 1914, the cricketer R. E. Tip Foster died aged 36 of diabetes. A remarkable talent, the only man to captain England at both cricket and football, Tip Foster set a world record test score at his debut, with 287 runs. Here's a poem, If, by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise, if you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think, and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster, and treat those two impostors just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn-out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings, and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose, and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss, if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on, if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute sixty seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more.
You'll be a man, my son. That's almost all for today. If you know anyone who could use a touch of calm, do please share this. And if you need some music to wake you up, how about the Major General's song from Pirates of Penzance? Then I can write a washing bill in Babylonic cuneiform and tell you every detail of Caractacus's uniform. Until tomorrow, stay civilised, keep calm, and please keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.